Hello everyone, it's Dawn McPhee here and I was on the craft store yesterday doing a pink frog show sharing a brand new colour combination for the 8, 8 inch and 6 inch memory books from pink frog so I just wanted to share with you in case you missed it so the new colour combination is the beautiful true ivory and true brown and when we say true from pink frog we mean that it's acid and lignin free so perfect for your scrapbooking and your memory books so the memory books come in kits and you get enough in the kit to make four there's only two here but you get enough to make four of the six inch okay um, and you've got your full instructions in there and your scoring and cutting guide and there is also a video tutorial over on my website dawnsinspirations.com in the online workshop section and then you can also get the 8 inch version again in the kit you will make four okay so you've got the 8 inch and if I put the ivory up against the true brown there you will see okay the difference in the size there okay the other nice thing that happens is you've got enough cardstock to do all the photo mats you need in the books as well so that is all provided as part of the kit so as, as part of a, a one kit you're going to get 80 sheets of cardstock so you're going to get your cardstock size and your a4 size your full instructions and scoring a cutting guide so this is what you're going to actually make which is your bare memory books so you've got the 8 inch and 6 inch however we had the show yesterday and when we do shows we never really get to see all the finished samples in their beauty so that's why I thought I'd come and do a quick video to share with you so I'm going to start off I'm going to move the 8 inch out of the way I haven't got enough room on my desk I thought I'm going to start off with the 6 inch here so I've got lovely selection here I've got ivory and I've got the blue and they're all done in different colours so let me start off at the beginning so this one I've used the pink frog stamps the lily stamps and the nice thing about the memory books is you can decorate these any way you like so I've used the pearly wink stamper ring for the centre and all this wording again comes from the pink frog stamps all of this is from the pink frog stamps I don't know whether you can quite pick that up I've done what's called shadow stamping so it's on the true brown if I put that in the sunlight you can oh where are where's the sunlight gone you can pick out that you've got the brown ink on the brown card so it's like a shadow stamping so the books again this lily stamp this is from textures I want to say textures three I'm sure the pebbles are textures three these are the typewriter words sentiments so this is all the, all the stamps are pink frog so you've got your colour combination I've gone with um, extra I put extra um, for an A4 true card in my kit to allow me to do these extra panels on top instead of pattern paper just to just for a bit of difference so it gives you an idea of how to do them I've done watercolor pencils for the lilies stamped in the brown for the wording and of course just stamped plain just the lily stamp on its own because it's absolutely stunning isn't it so that's just stamped in the dark brown because you're going to be putting photographs on these aren't you so you don't go too mad with stamping inside I mean normally with a memory book you'd put a photograph there a photograph there photograph either side of your mat and another photograph in there however these books are your own so you can do with them what you wish and for me putting the big lily on I'm not going to be putting any photographs on there all my photographs are going to be on the inside so it's just giving you an idea of how you can decorate them so that is the just for you using the lily stamps and then 
this one here is made by my uh, one of my design team ladies Heather so she's again used the stamper ring and she's used the butterfly wishes and some stunning inks they are just beautiful aren't they and that pearly winks stamper ring again and then when we open this one out look at that beautiful stamping this true ivory cardstock is phenomenal when it's stamped and inked and it just looks absolutely stunning she's shown you where you can put your photographs and using that beautiful butterfly wishes with the back background texture stamps that also come in the kit look absolutely gorgeous but by having each page a different colour let me move this one out of the way a minute by having each page a different colour you get a totally different feel but it works I think it looks absolutely stunning and very achievable to do this doesn't take a lot of time at all it's just using your eye true ivory cardstock again she stuck the panels on but she's inked all these first before she stuck them on but I think you'll agree with me every colour combination she's picked just works it just looks absolutely beautiful and that is my favorite combo the the green with the um the sort of burgundy color there that pinky dusky pink color it's just absolutely stunning so i think you will agree it's a beautiful sample and that's why i've just got to share and you'll see that the wording has come out from the um precious poppies the stamps there so in this one has come from the um butterfly wishes so again all these pink frog stamps so let me bring this one in again i've used the stamps from the pink frog collection i've gone blue root this time and just just inking the edge and using those texture stamps to to bring that in and then on this one i thought let's do a little bit of a scenic look so i've gone scenic with the um the country scenes um, stamp sets again all from pink frog so if you check out the website i'll leave a link below you can see all the stamps that are available i've given you ideas of places where to put your photographs and i've just done those little accents of blue just to sort of pick that out now and again the little blue elements just so it all ties in all the words are from the typewriter collection but i think you will agree they look absolutely gorgeous so just using those stamps that we've got so this is using the pink frog stamps um with the true art so this was all in true ivory and then i've just used some true brown just to add that accent border on the elements for that book so we've looked at some stamping and inking but how about going straight in with some pattern papers so heather's made this one for me and this is just using pattern papers but i'm sure you've all got these in your craft stash the sentiment again has come from the pink frog stamps i can't remember off the top of my head which one that was from but it was from one of the birthday sentiments but it just works you know fill happy hours with special moments it just works it's absolutely gorgeous but by using the pattern paper she's put um ivory photo mats on this time just showcasing with you where to add photographs and make the most from your memory books so bear in mind this is the six inch version but you can still get lots of photographs in here you know you're going to get one on each side of your mat you can put memorabilia in there as well you can put a photo on there a photo on there photo on the front you can still get lots of photos in these lovely little six by six uh, memory books we call them six by six the pages are six by six the cover is slightly bigger so it's an approximate six by six in size so these are your six inch collection okay so they're the six inch collection or six inch memory book kit so you get enough in the kit as i say to make four so you can make two ivory and two brown so let's have a little look now at the eight inch because let me move these to the side i'm running out of space on my desk so let me bring these all in look you can see how gorgeous they are 
all together. I wonder if I can hold them all up so you can see them at the camera. It's very hard to get all of them. So again, in your kit for the 8 inch, you're going to get enough to do two of the ivory um, albums and two of the true brown. So let's start off with this one quickly. So again, just using those pattern papers and just adding a few embellishments on the front. I've left this plain, but you can see where you're going to add your photographs. You could even get two landscape photographs on there. Just cut down small, smaller from your six by four. And you can put another two there. You can get a nice landscape one there. You're going to get a couple of photos, if not more, on your large mats. But the pockets are nice and large to add even more in there. All the kits come with full written instructions as well as your scoring and cutting guide. And if you watch the um, Pink Frog show at three o'clock yesterday over on the craft store, you can still watch it on Catch Up on their website. Uh, it'd be there for 60 days. You will see on the three o'clock show, I made the ivory eight inch from start to finish. So you can see how quick and easy it is to put together. And they are quick and easy to put together. That was the aim with these books. I wanted them quick and easy to put together so beginners can get involved and seasoned crafters can take them to the next level. So here's another one done with papers with the brown. And, you know, using your die cuts to put your words on there. You know, don't be afraid to add bits to this. This is the basics. So with the craft stash that you've got at home, you can make these your own. You know, plenty of space there to put your photographs. Heather's stamped here to give you some ideas. You see what I meant when I said to um, landscape. This is just giving you the idea that you can fit them all in. But just using pattern papers from your craft stash and it just goes on and on you'll notice that they fold or lay flat when we're looking at them this is why they're quite nice to look at with that counter lever on the stack the deck it means they lay nice and flat and don't forget if you're posting them you haven't got to worry about you've got a big thick book to post because you can slide the spine to the side and then you can just pop that in a jiffy bag and that is nice and easy to post. So you've got that built in with that hinge system. Here's one I started to, I decorated yesterday on the craft store on the seven o'clock show. Again, all these stamps are available from the Pink Frog site. And this inking technique, this is using the oxide inks. This has gone straight onto that true ivory cardstock i've got water splatters on there i've got some paint splatters on there i've stamped on it i've colored with it with the watercolor pencils it just takes it beautifully and then again keeping it really simple i've just used the oxide inks to ink over and then just with a dark dark brown stamp just stamping those lovely chrysanthemums they just stamp out absolutely beautifully I mean every time you're going to get a lovely crisp clean image that is the nice thing about them you've got big pockets for your uh, memorabilia or extra photo mats but just having a few stamps here and there just makes them look a little bit different and I just love that clean stamped look and that's what I was going for when I was creating this album so it hasn't got to be heavily decorated to get a beautiful album to fill with photos or pass on as a gift and then the last one I want to show you is this one from Heather which is absolutely gorgeous she's die cut the words out there she's colored these gorgeous stamps in all these are available over on that Pink Frog site. These have all been die cut as well, just from her craft stash. And then if we open this out, again, it still lays flat. So if I open up the middle, still lays nice and flat for, for viewing. But every page, she's coloured these gorgeous images in with the watercolour pencils. And then you've got your photo mats. 
but you've also just got those clean stamped images and I think you will agree it is absolutely stunning I know lots of you have left beautiful comments on social media about Heather's album and it is absolutely exquisite but just by adding some extra cardstock for your mats if you want to you know if you're going to grab them grab another pack of that a4 true brown or true ivory because you'll kick yourself when you've got them home that you didn't pick up that extra pack because it does come in handy you know and just a few stamps how exquisite does that look you know photograph on there photograph on there you've got your your um, photo mat as well you can put photographs in there you could even put two landscape in there as well so I think you will agree it's an absolutely exquisite album and a really sturdy album so we can go from you know the double matted that you've got lot you know some weight behind it. it's lovely and sturdy as a gift or you can go the slimmer version where we've just done one mat on it they're all good because the quality of the products are good so this is your 8 by 8 So we've got, let's put them beside each other. So we've got some 8 by 8 and some 6 by 6 So these are the memory books from Pink Frog, Pink Frog's Crafts. I'll leave all the links below um, the video here. So you can click on the links and go to where you need to pick up your kits. These kits, this is the True Ivory and Brown. But if you look, I'll send the link through, you'll see that these come in different colours as well. So there are different colours that you can purchase as well. So I'm Dawn McPhee. Thank you for tuning in and just watching this quick walkthrough video. I just love to share the finished samples after a show because I feel when we're doing the shows on TV, we don't always get a proper chance to look through them properly. So I hope you've enjoyed it and you will enjoy making your own memory books and i will see you very soon bye for now